Hello everyone, I have missed you. I am going to be using one of the larger round molds from Happy Dotting Company uh, for this stone. It's about five inches wide. Um, and if you guys need help with doing your black and white stripes, um, I have posted two other striped stone uh, tutorials in the description of this video so that you can refer back to that just for the stripey part. Um, my stripes are not perfect and I use tape um, to get it done. So you can use tape or you can draw lines and stay within the lines. It's totally up to you. So I don't know. I am in the mood for spring. I've got snow melting here. I've got hopes and dreams of warm weather coming. <laughs> uh, so I am going to do flowers that are my favorite color and one of my favorite smells in the spring and that is lilacs. Uh, so I'm just going to do using a little bit of classic green. I'm going to make a stem and a couple of leaves and uh, we're going to work with that first and then add the flowers afterwards. So as you can see up in the top left hand corner, I'm using a couple of different shades of purple. So there is perfect purple, which is the dark, dark color. Um, I believe it's perfect purple. I'm going to just check. Yes, it is perfect purple 2929CA. And that's from Folk Art. And then I'm using lavender and light lavender. Um, two other folk art brands. Now, right now I'm just using a Martha Stewart sponge dauber. You can use any sponge to kind of dab out your, your paint lines and get a nice smooth texture. Uh, I'm going to do two coats of that classic green on the leaves once, uh, they're dry. So as you can see, I just did short little stems, um, because this part is actually super messy. Um, I don't want anyone to worry about their shapes and sizes and colors. I'm literally not going to rinse off my paintbrush. I'm going to use my paintbrush and dip it in all three of the colors. I'm going to go back and forth between colors. I'm going to marble some of the colors together. Um, but first, I just want you to see these lilac flowers have four little petals. So as long as you stick to four petals of all different sizes and all different shades of purple, that's pretty much all I'm going to do here. So uh, different sizes, different shades of purple, uh, and I'm not going to worry about whether my paint is mixing together because I actually really like how it looks afterwards. So um, my beautiful cat, Max, who is a gorgeous uh, black cat with green eyes. He's like my little, my little panther. Uh, he is right now calling me outside the door because he wants to play fetch. He is my dog cat. <laughs> so he has these little fuzzy balls that he really, really loves. Like they are his little friends and he carries them around in his mouth and he just kind of plops it down right in front of me and, and waits for me to throw it for him. Um, so he wants me to do that right now. <laughs> So if you hear what sounds like a cat with a mouthful crying, that's that's him. He's he's asking me to play fetch right now and I can't. I'm busy with you guys. <laughs> so you can see I've just kind of like used the end of my paintbrush to dab on some splotches of purple paint. You can see those. I don't have um, th four petals together. They're just like a, a blob. You'll see what I do with that afterwards. It's, it kind of is uh, supposed to look like little flower buds, like the little lilac flowers that are about to bloom. Um, they're just not open yet. So they're just little balls of color. And I'm going to add like a, a little strand to it to make it look like it has a stem. Um, but you can see I'm literally mixing in the light purple with the dark purple. Um, I'm doing all, all different sizes. They are going to look so pretty when it's done, but you don't have to worry about your paint mixing color. Just try and put four petals on each um, and change the sizes. The ones down closer at the bottom are, are a little bit bigger than the ones at the top. Um, and take a look at some pictures of lilacs uh, on Pinterest or on Google. That way you can kind of get an idea of what they look like. Uh, and there are some light ones that are like light, light uh, white. Um, there's some really dark, dark, beautiful purple um, maroon colored lilacs. I like the purple ones because <laughs> purple just happens to be my favorite color. 
So I'm using a bunch of different shades of purple and I'm mixing them all in together and it keeps focusing on my paintbrush. Um, but you can see that it's all just kind of like marbled petals and it looks like a real mess. But we're going to clean it up with black and we're going to clean it up with gold and we're going to make it sparkle and shine like crazy crazy. You guys know how I work. It has to have some glitter. It has to have lots of shine and uh, you'll be you'll be in love with it when we are done. You guys really like the striped ones so I wanted to make sure I got another striped one out for spring. Um, so whose birthday is this month? Who's got a March birthday? I am very excited. I have a birthday this month and I was really hoping that um, like usual, my birthday month means spring is here. By the time my birthday rolls around on the 29th, I've, I've got spring here, right, in Canada? <laughs> but no, we're going to be having some chilly weather right down to the uh, beginning of April. So I'm a little bit bummed out about that. I need the sun. And I don't know why I live in northern Ontario <laughs> when I'm more more or less like a spring and summer person. I, I love the spring and summer. Just love it. Um, it just the new growth and the smell of the new growth and the, the water running and the snow melting and the grass coming in and leaves. Oh, I just I love that. I love all that new growth it makes me feel happy inside. So that's on its way. It's going to be here very, very soon. February flew by and so far March is flying by as well. Uh, you can see I've got a few more little bulbs, <laughs> a few little buds, and I'm adding just a thin line coming from them of the same color. So we're going to let that mess dry a little bit and then we're going to define it. Um, but I'm putting a second coat of green on my leaves and now I'm adding a little bit of a lighter green called grass green and I'm just using a sponge and I'm just going to lighten the leaves a little bit um, at the top but I'm going to add a little bit of teal. This is kind of strange but if you look up pictures of lilacs sometimes the, the, the leaves actually have like a tinge of blue to them. So they're so green that they're blue. So I'm adding just a little bit of teal to the tips of my leaves. You can't see the other one. I'm not trying to hide it from you. <laughs> I just am not good at this. So I'll be moving that into your view hopefully very soon. But I'm just adding just a tiny little bit of teal. So it's barely noticeable, but you'll be able to see it once I resin it. You'll be able to notice that there is a bit of a tint of blue to that, that leaf. So I'm just adding in a couple of little green uh, stems in any of the blank spots that I've left to, so that it looks like they're attached to something. They're not just floating in the air. Um, but I'm not doing too much with that, okay? Now I'm going to use a little bit of, uh, it's called chrome powder um, or shell powder. It's for nails. You guys have seen me use this a lot. Um, I will link it in the description. This time we're not using a UV light or anything. I'm just dabbing some of it onto my damp paint. It's not completely dry yet. Uh, and then I'm adding Mod Podge over top of it to hold it in place. And it just gives those leaves uh, a real nice sparkle. It brings them to life. <laughs> anything that glitters to me is, is has been brought to life. So <laughs> I'm a huge fan. Now we are going to outline. We're going to try and outline not, not thick lines and don't be precise about it. Just kind of outline areas, especially against the white. Um, you want to separate all your little, your little lilac flowers. So I'm going to just kind of lightly outline them and separate all the petals from one another. And this is a bit of a lengthy process. So take your time. You can always go back in and fix if you've done it too thick or if you outline something that wasn't supposed to be outlined, you can go back in with your purples and no one's going to even notice that you made that mistake. So uh, I'm just going to try and find all of them and see if we can clean this big old purple blob up and turn it into some flowers. <laughs> so we will see that come together very slowly. Um, I plan on having a couple of tutorials coming out uh, early this week. I do have a heart um, 
candle, votive candle holder, heart-shaped one from the Happy Dotting Company. I was lucky enough to receive the mold for that. I've made a couple and now I've got a, a nice tutorial to bring to you guys. So if you are lucky enough to have that heart-shaped mold uh, for the candle holder, then you will be happy that I have a tutorial coming next week. Um, and a couple of more. I've written down a few that I want to do. Um, I'm doing a stained glass one. So be prepared. That's going to be fun and different. Not something I've done before. I guess uh, some of my stuff kind of looks like stained glass, but we dot it instead of um, just painting it in pure colors. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I don't know if I can handle doing stained glass without some gold in there. <laughs> um, so keep your eyes peeled. Make sure you've hit the subscribe button. Um, and like my videos, guys, it really helps me out. It gets my videos to uh, a bigger audience if there's likes on the video. So if you just hit that like button, even if you're not going to paint with me or you don't really like what I painted this time, um, I do bring all of my tutorials to you for free and uh, it takes a lot of my time. So if you just hit the like button and move on to the next video that you find, um, that does help me. So uh, also make sure you hit your notification bell so that you're getting all your notifications from me. Um, I'm going to be putting some Swarovski crystals onto this lilac flower. Um, once I've resined it and cured it for a few hours. Um, so make sure you visit thepinkchair.ca and use my discount code Rachel Mitchell for your crystals or flat back rhinestones or your glitter. Um, they also have like collections of paintbrushes that are super awesome and they're for nails. So a lot of them are like great for what we do on my channel. So if you guys check out thepinkchair.ca and use my, my my discount code. Don't forget about that. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff that you can use from there. Um, also, don't forget about using my discount code on Etsy at Happy Dotting Company. If you want to buy anything, she's got like patterns. She's got templates to make all sorts of cool things. Um, she's got multi molds where there's like a bunch of different flat stones that are kind of shaped like uh, Santorini stones. Um, a lot of really great shapes. And of course, these round, round ones are amazing. You can do so many different things on them. Uh, so check out all of their stuff and use my discount code Rachel's Rocks Canada. Uh, and don't forget because you can be saving yourself 10%. So, um, and I love her molds. They're amazing. I've never been disappointed. <laughs> if you also want to know how to make your rocks, I have a tutorial in the description on how to do that and everything is in there. All the colors I've used today, the flat back crystals, the glitter, um, my fine lining paintbrush that you see me using. If anybody here on my channel is listening, if you know of a paintbrush company who would be willing to create my paintbrushes just the way I do so that I can provide them and sell them to all of you please send me a message and highlight paintbrushes. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to even, I've been wanting to for about two years, uh, be able to sell uh, paintbrushes for you all for your fine lining needs. Um, I just don't even know how to go about doing that. So it's something I'm looking into and I will be very excited to announce it when it happens. But if you know how I can do this or you know someone who might, please message me on Facebook or tag me in a post. That's when I usually get my notifications is, is when someone tags me in a post on Rachel's Rocks or on Facebook. I get to those a lot faster than I can get to emails and, uh, and stuff like that. So I am outlining where I have done everything in black. I'm just giving it a little bit of gold. I'm not being precise about that either. I'm just making sure that each piece of this has gold on it. So I'm just kind of gently sweeping my paintbrush around and getting some gold on each petal, but not covering up the black outline because I want to keep them all separated still. Now I did do a gold vein uh, down the center of my leaves. 
uh, with my fine lining brush. I'm also going to outline the leaves with gold. Everything is going to be gold, um, just like always. Now, it still looks like a mess because some of my purple paints have a satin finish and some of them have a matte finish. Uh, so it really is hard on the eyes. You can't really adjust and see um, all the work that we've put in by outlining all those petals and 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 everything. I've also put a black dot in the center of all the pet all the flowers, and I have put a gold dot on top of the black dot. But I still want to see some of the black. Don't cover the whole black dot. Um, but you're you're gonna see this all come together once I seal it with resin. You're you're not gonna see um, the mess of satin finish and matte finish and shine and and gold you're not going to see all that confusing your eyeballs <laughs> because the the smooth glass finish that resin gives it it kind of evens out all those textures and then you can really see all the hard work that we've put in so you'll notice that you'll see and make sure you let me know in the comments what you think of it um because I want to know. I want to know. And are you sick of stripes, guys? <laughs> I still love stripes. My stripes are never perfect, and it takes me a long time to get them to look okay enough for me to start painting over top of them <laughs> with flowers or, or what have you. Um, but I'm, I'm really liking stripes, and I'm hopefully going to get better at doing better stripes. And you don't have to do them as thick as me. You can actually do them like with gold. You can do golden white stripes or golden black stripes. Um, you could do thinner stripes, pin stripes, all that stuff. So here's the fun part. I am, I've am i resined it and now I'm using a wax pencil uh, to pick up my crystals. These are glitter crystals and all that stuff you can get at the pink chair. I don't wanna ruin the surprise for you. So I've added these crystals and I'm just letting you see like how sparkly it is, but I don't want to ruin the whole resin reveal. You guys know that's one of my favorite parts. Um, so here it is, peekaboo. Um, yeah, I always do this. I'm silly when it comes to reveals. <laughs> I want I want the anticipation to build. So you can see all that glitter on the leaves looks gorgeous you can see like all the stones they look beautiful um you can actually see each flower now it doesn't look like a mess and all the color looks great because they all just go together with mixing and mingle all those different colors of purple um they just all look really fantastic together don't they i don't know i really like them and they're so so sparkly um, and shiny. This is now dry, uh, but don't add your crystals till the resin has sealed for about five or six hours so that they don't budge. I love you guys. I will see you soon. Make sure you keep painting.